Hi everybody, Dion here for my favorite how to paint show live with DIY paint. How are you guys? Happy Sunday. I missed you all. Wednesday, we had a baseball banquet and so we missed the show on Wednesday. So literally have not been on here with you guys since last Sunday. It feels a little bit odd, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there were a couple of times throughout the week that I thought I should go, I should go live, but then, <laughs> Then we had such a great week with internet issues. No, not even internet issues, just technical issues with computers. So my MacBook crashed, got to go to my Apple store for the first time as my first experience. Hi everybody, I'm so happy you're here. Um, we're gonna start a new piece of furniture. So let me move over and let you check it out. Hi from Florida, Miss Yoder. Look at this gorgeous buffet, you see? Um, there are teardrop knobs that we've taken off, uh, but we're going to get started on this beauty tonight. So, um, anybody want to guess what colors I'm going to start with? Oh, wait. I forgot I had the colors sitting up here. Eee, that's funny. Ooh, I'll oh, guess. I'll guess. And Matt's here. I'll guess. I'm going to go with purple, pink, and blue. Oh, but what are the names of the colors? Uh, cherry picked. Bohemian Rap Rhapsody no. and lipstick. Lipstick. Yeah. Nope. You're wrong. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. I missed you all. Uh, like I said, it's been a week since we've been on. Wednesday, uh, Matt uh, and I were participating in a booster club big banquet called the uh, First Pitch Banquet. Miss Dion, you were gone forever. I know, right, Gavin? I was gone forever. Karen and Heather, I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Joey. Everybody, let's get started on a new piece. How so do you find the live? This, how do I find the live? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Like I said, my computer's at the Apple Store, so he's on my iPad. I don't know how to operate this thing. I don't either. I've never really used it for a live. Can you watch lives on here? Can you watch lives from an iPad, people? Surely you can. I think a lot of them are on their iPad. Yeah. Where you go? Keep going. Keep going. Oh, there it is. Keep Found going. It. No, keep going. Found it. Honey, I don't think you can see the comments from there. Oh. I told you to keep scrolling. How do you go back? Hi, Kathleen. You guys, I need to get started. I need to get started painting. So, you want to hand me the iPad? I'll help you. Yeah. Sorry. You all. I guess Sorry. We were having technical issues. I told him to keep scrolling, and then he didn't. And I don't. I don't know how to get out of this. I don't ever use this iPad. We're being forced to use the iPad, and I don't. I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you, I don't really care for them that much. But I'm really happy to have one. Matt got me one for Christmas, so it's coming in quite handy. So you have to go down to where it's actually in the feed. Okay, right there. You gotta swipe over. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. There you go, now uh, they're on. Ha, <laughs> okay. Got it, sorry guys. All right, two colors I'm gonna use. I've got my VIP brush from Paint Pixie, the Turquoise Iris Collection, and I'm gonna start with Cherry Picked and Cowgirl Coral. Now the reason I'm starting with those two colors is because um, I love the contrast of them, but we're gonna come in with some Water Lily after that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Thank you. We found the comments. Um, I'm going to start in with that, but I haven't come up with my overall design for this piece yet. We brought it in from the eve, um, from the, I know my, my lighting looks really odd on Facebook and I don't really have a reason for that. Same lights, three lights. Hey, you know what you ought to do? Um, why are you talking like that? You know what you ought to do? <laughs> what? Turn your hat around. Turn my head around. Hey, it's, oh. it's go time, Dion. Let's get serious. Well, I can get, I can turn, you because it was shadowing my face. Yeah, it's go time now. All right, whatever. All right, thanks, baby. Okay, so um, with those three colors is what we're going to start off with tonight. Now, you just discovered Water Lily. Isn't it great? I had the honor of picking that color for DIY paint in September. Love it so much. So we're gonna use those three colors on here as the base, and then we're gonna figure out what colors we really want to um, add in, but we'll do that when we come back in on Wednesday. But right now, I'm gonna get this brush. I've got them both on my tray here. You guys, if you have any questions, that's why Matt is here to help. So if you have questions, please ask, and if he skips it, don't be upset. Um, that I don't know if I'll paint flowers yet, Rainbow. I'm not positive. Um, Gavin's saying hi to Mary. That is, you guys are always so nice to each other, communicating when you show up every few days for each other. 
Um, hello, I missed you Friday night too, guys, because of my computer crashing. I had no Friday night live, which was really odd. Um, so hopefully everything will be good to go by Friday and I'll get it back in the mail and we'll be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and actually lightly miss this piece. Um, DIY paint is a clay-based paint. It's gonna stick to just about every single thing. Oh, I missed you Friday night too, Laura. Thank you. Um, so I'm actually gonna blend these two colors together and overlap them for my base. Are you watching, Matthew? Yes. Yes. You're double. You're doing double. Do you got you... cherry picked and lipstick. That's not lipstick. What color is this coral? Kissing booth. Matthew. You get one more chance, or your design assistant level is gonna go down and rank. The it coral. Has, it has coral. It's coral. Coral. is the name. Coral. Coral. What kind of coral? Oh, my stars. Coral. You've got one more word. Better be choose your words wisely. You've been here long enough to know. Is it... Is it... Is it cowgirl? Cowgirl what? Coral. Thank you. Thank you, Lolly Lolly. What's oh, going? my goodness. Lolly Lolly helped you. She's my girl. She's helping <laughs> her brother out. <laughs> Up, put him in the put him down in his ranking you guys um i hope you all had a wonderful weekend like i said on facebook we missed you friday night um that was literally the third friday in two and a half years that i missed all because of a computer situation i could have in and the thing is i have the ipad and you can go live on zoom but you can't stream through facebook so i could have done it but and and recorded it but it was a little bit awkward trying to do that with anissa that time, but hopefully all my fa my computer issues will be worked out. Ooh, look how good this looks. It looks really good on the, it looks good on the Oh, tree. you guys, I was really planning Saturday that it was not on. <laughs> I need a backup for the backup. I know, right? Gavin said, I did Bohemian Blue and Golden Ticket thrown on my skateboard and steampunk stickers. Sorry, I mean transfers. Nice. Nice job, Got Gavin. Skateboard. Well, that's a good market to get into right there, Gav. I need to get into the skateboard market. That's awesome, Gavin. Hey, you got a pretty little wife joining us. Hello? Hello? I haven't seen her in a while. Where's she been? I think she's been, she's been doing steampunk stuff. She has? <laughs> yes, Gavin, I have a small factual history lesson I will be getting later on in the show. Oh my god, you forgot about your history lesson, didn't if you? I, no, I did not forget. You I did? Got it. It's on my, I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> oh, you're entering the danger zone. Guys, we started, um, We the boys started baseball and scrimmages have just consumed our evenings. So that's why we do the 100 lives in 100 days during the fall and winter because it can't happen during spring and summer. It's hard to see, but are you painting with two colors on your brush? Yes, I was showing it earlier in the video that I'm using my six inch VIP and I'm actually applying the color, Simon, like they're, they're mixing together on my tray. And I'm just using it for my base coat, I'm planning on bringing in some blue here in a moment. And then I'm gonna kind of go from there because I don't, I don't really have a plan. I, this is as far as I got was with these three, these three colors. Okay, we have, okay, we have, uh, for the watch, she's been sick. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. Uh, That's good. I'm glad you're feeling better, we missed you. Um, a Charlotte Small, she says hi from Santa Cruz, California. Then we have Nancy Height, she says hi everybody from, I'm gonna get this wrong, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Hi boy. Snohomish, Wisconsin. Snohomish. Oh no, WA is. W-A is uh, Washington. Washington, honey. excuse me, I'm sorry. Well, welcome, you guys. Missed you. Missed you Wednesday. At a baseball banquet, kicking off the season. There's a lot of games to work around, so... Mindy's um, on here from you. Australia, Queensland. Thank you so much. Uh oh, oh what What'd you do? Happened? Are you kidding me right now? What did you do, Woods? The the Facebooks is the Facebooks? Yeah. Messing up on you? 
Okay, this one. Okay, guys, this is DIY paint. The colors I'm using are cherry picked and cowgirl coral, and I'm applying them together. If you are interested in trying these out yourself, I have links for you that you can actually order from and have them shipped right to your door. Um, this is the VIP from the Turquoise Iris Collection. You loved my pics from the banquet. Donetta, thank you so much. I had I have two boys in the program now, so it was pretty cool. Pretty cool to have them there together. Mary was trying to blend Marquee and Firestarter. Not so sure about that combo. Um, Marquee and Firestarter? Sure you can do that. Absolutely. Bright red. Yes, Vanessa Brown. She's putting uh, the paint on the brush at the same time. Two different colors. Uh, Mia McLean, when is the next DIY conference coming up? The next DIY conference. Um... Mia, we don't have one scheduled just yet. I do have workshops for myself scheduled, but I don't have a DIY paint scheduled yet. Um, I will be having, oh, thank you. I am Tanya, thank you so much, sweetie. Um, I'm having a workshop with the owner of DIY on March 21st coming up in uh, McKinney, Texas. I need some more coral. Look, for some reason I have a lot more cherry picked than I do. Um, so let me get some more of my cowgirl coral. Uh, Joanne Caldwell, does yes. spraying the piece with water help the paint to blend easier? Yes, it does. It encourages the blending. Certainly does. The clay in the paint makes it a little bit thicker. You don't have to use water. It gives a really good thorough coat. Really just one coat is all that's needed. But I use water and just kind of encourages the bleed, the blending. Hi, Alice. I'm so glad you're So let me Alice, go to the side. Hey, Alice, let me go to the it. side right here. You guys can see this, right? Except Instagram cannot. Instagram? Instagrams cannot. Forgetting about the grams. I know I don't want to forget the gram. You guys, we are streaming on three devices, so we don't forget any of our friends on any. Ow. Oh, oh. Did that really hurt you? No. Just said, ow, just because it worried you. Me. It worried you. Just didn't want to knock anything over. Now, is this really a chalk? Is it considered a chalk paint? Um, it's, I know you mentioned it a lot. It, it, it's still it's a, a clay and chalk. Clay and chalk. Okay. Yeah, we consider it a clay because it does have more clay than any other product, any other line out there. But it's considered a chalk as well. It can be used as as what you know, like the other chalk paints. But it's clay and chalk based. So what you get from that meaning is it's it's the most natural paint with the fewest VOCs than any other, which means there's no smells, there's no harmful chemicals. And I, what's been most important to me in my just running a household is to have good clean products on our skin and in the air, cleaning products and such. So um, the paint just falls, it's just, it's part of, it just falls in line with my um, my philosophy for the house and, and trying not to bother the boys' allergies and Matt's allergies. It's just been something that's real important to me. Yes. What, baby? Yes. What, yes, what? I was agreeing. Oh. Oh, you were agreeing with me? Yeah, nobody likes getting the allergies flared up. No, when I first started painting furniture, it was, it would, if I even tried to do that in the house, it would bother the boys and they'd say, oh, it smells like paint in here, and it would bother them. I wasn't really, I didn't feel comfortable painting in the house for furniture and have this much paint exposure until um, I started with DIY paint. And I do use it pretty exclusively for my furniture because... It just does everything I need it to do. And just, I, I think it makes my job a lot easier and it really encourages my own style of painting too. You gotta be careful not to overlap while it's on your breath because I'm starting to get a little bit more blending than I wanted right here. So I'm gonna dip in the coral and come back in to mm -hmm. add some coral here. You may not be able to see that extremely well, but. You know, it's, I'm sorry if you're not getting a real good view, you guys. I'll come back to the front in just a second. 
Isn't this a gorgeous buffet? Who loves it? Everybody. Everybody loves it. It's a gorgeous buffet. Any questions, Matthew? Um, questions. Yes, I just seen one. Uh, pretty Little Wife, I created a new color. Did you? Even thought of an awesome name for it. Do you think I can submit my recipe idea to Debbie? Well, sure. Absolutely. 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 Why not? So, uh, Bonnie Fuller says those two colors together are fantastic. Thank Can't you. Can't wait to see how the third color will make it pop. Yep, we're going to add in the water lily here in just a moment. This this beautiful periwinkle, we're going to add it in. What is the most trending blue color? Do you mean for DIY or do you mean just blue in general? Let me know. Because I, if you're talking DIY, I would tell you that it was bohemian blue for many, probably the last couple of years. But blue iris, which is the cobalt blue, is starting to give it a run for its money. What happened to FNL? Well, I posted at the top of my page so everybody could see it if they were looking for it, that um, we were having technical issues. I had no computer, so I had to cancel Friday Night Live and we postpone and it. Are you going to tell them the wonderful story of behind taking your computer? What do you mean? What beautiful story? It was the first was time. no beautiful was, story. It was the first time we went to an Apple store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're, you know, we're, we're, we're in we our talk 40s about making and, the anxiety rise. We're in our 40s and never been to an Apple store. Why would I ever want to go? I, because they have cool stuff. Well, there was, how could we see anything? The place was packed on a Saturday. We had an appointment at 1035. Mall opened at 10 and the place was absolutely a madhouse. Talk about making my anxiety rise. Anybody Who likes the Apple store? Raise your hand. Say right now if you actually like the Apple Store. Well, I mean, it's kind of, I mean, they were very Oh, helpful. they were nice. They, they were, were wonderful. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. They That was like total organized chaos in there. They had that down to science. Worked perfect. Um, but they had to take my Mac and ship it off. And hopefully, we'll be good to go by Friday. So everybody say a little prayer if that's what you do. And hopefully, we'll be back with Kristen and Q for week two of our collaboration paintings. Okay, we have a question here from Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Have you ever tried mixing paint types like DIY and Dixie Bell on the same project? Nope, I never have. I know that other people do it, but I use DIY exclusively. I know other people do though, because I'm one of those that says, don't waste it, use it. And if that means you've got to mix it, go for it. But I know a lot of people do, but I never have. Um, like I said, I use it exclusively when it comes to furniture painting. Okay, and a beauty luscious question. How many coats of wax do you apply on the top of a dresser, and how long do I need to wait until I can put stuff on top? So just one coat is necessary. If it's a really high traffic or a piece that's going to be used quite a bit, you can go ahead and put a second coat. Technically, you're supposed to wait 30 days to set pieces on and really leave it there. Isn't it a gorgeous buffet? Thank you so much. Um, I, it, once I buff my, the wax, I'm good to go. I set stuff up there. I stay, you guys see me, I stage my pick pieces. And then of course I take it all back down. I don't leave the pieces sitting on there. I leave it until, um, it mixes. Gail says she mixes brand, brands and it's fine. Um, so I say leave something off of it for 30 days, but like, if you're just gonna stage with it and have it set up like that, I wouldn't worry about it too much. But the longer it's, it the, um, what am I looking for? Cure, it cures and becomes harder and harder uh, as time goes by. It's the paint she's using, she doesn't have to sand. No, I don't have to sand. It's a clay-based paint, you guys. It's um, gonna stick to anything. There's no sanding and there's no priming. I miss your daily video so much, Kathleen. Thank you. I miss them too. I will admit that I have missed my daily videos too. Uh, Zoe also asked, do you sell DIY paint, right? I do sell it, not online. You I sell it, it. I sell it locally, but I have an affiliate link that I can give you for all the products that I use. And after, after each video, I go ahead and I post my links in the comments for you to use, and if you use the link, it will just ship right to your home from the DIY paint warehouse. 
on my website I just ship my products like my furniture my artwork and now my bags and my other merchandise that's um, about all the shipping we can handle right woods yeah well yeah we, we do for now we can. for now melanie hunter phillips ralph what up Mel melanie hey, hunter hey. phillips let's do blue ralph. now Will DIY paint be available for purchase at the McKinney Workshop? Absolutely. It's going to be at Doozy's Corner. Well, the, not the actual event, but across the street is Doozy's Corner, and that's the shop where Kara Lockwood is a retailer. And she's a retailer there, so we'll be able to go there and do some shopping. We're going to take photos together, and uh, everybody can get all the supplies that they need at Kara Lockwood's booth in Doozy's Corner in McKinney, Texas, March 21st. Yep, 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 yep. Um, Tabitha Lucas, I love Dixie Belle paint and I have been wanting to try DIY, but she's scared. What are you scared of, sister? Tell me. And what colors have you applied real quick again? Cowgirl Coral and Cherry Picked. Co coral and purple. No, Matthew. Okay. Cowgirl Coral and cherry picked. Those are the ones I'm using on my tray together and using the VIP brush from Paint Pixie. It's six inches and fab. It's in the Turquoise Iris collection. Um, so I asked because uh, uh, we'll get back. So we'll get back with you, okay? Um, okay. All right, let's do some blue now. Let's set this down. Oh, I like this name. Janet from Another Planet. Janet from Another Planet. She says, hello from Maryland. Deanna, you are inspired. Thank you. To make my auction furniture purchase happy again. Oh, wonderful. Come do a show in Van Buren. We have a perfect venue. That's in Arkansas. That's not far from us. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, my mom and little brother have. Oh, I missed that. You guys, thank you for the hearts and everything. I appreciate you so much. Look, okay, so we have the deep purple, and now we have the coral, and we're going to add in some water lily. Now, keep in mind, this is only, I painted a piece with those colors. They are marvelous. Ah, Rennie, awesome. So I'm adding in water lily, which is this periwinkle, as an accent color. I totally intended this piece to, for it in the end, for the overall look to be more blue. So this was intended to be the base coat. So we're just gonna kinda go from here because I haven't quite figured out how we're going to get to the blue, but um, is the lighting better now, babe? It's kinda working itself out. It's kinda yeah, weird. it was really odd. So I turned my hat around thinking I had messed it up. Did anybody see my new drop cloth piece? Um, you guys were really kind about that one. Uh, Mia McLean. Hi, Mia. McLean. D, if you could pick two colors to paint one piece of furniture, which would it be? I'll paint the piece and name it Dion. Oh, okay, <laughs> ask the question once more. Okay, if you could pick two colors to paint one piece of furniture, which would it be? I would pick, right here at this moment, I would pick water lily and blue iris. Right now, those are still my favorite. This is going to, yeah, it, it's very similar to Antoinette, you're right. Um, those two colors are still my favorites right now. Um, I haven't got tired of them. I hope that I never do. But uh, those were two colors that I that we came out with in September, and I'm excited. I'm still excited every time I get this out. So look at that. Ah. Okay, Cynthia R. S. Cristino. Hello. Says I'm gonna mess this up, but I'm gonna try it because I like trying new things. Benjos de Portugal. Okay. I don't know what that means. I but, hope it's nice. But she gave, some, yeah, no, she gave some happy faces with hearts on them. Happy so. faces with hearts. Thank you, Judy Irvin. All right. Jenna Stone's joining us. She's on the YouTube. Guys, I'm adding water with the Fine Mist Sprayer. This is the Water Girl, but I'm not going to use so much water that it starts dripping. That's kind of the key. Retro Vintage Lucero's Just a little, here. not much. Not much. Just a little? Just a little bit. Okay. And this is the French tip from Paint Pixie as well. And this is Water Lily? This is Water Lily, Matthew. Water Lily. Good okay. job. Good job.
And now I'm just kind of letting all of the edges kind of pull the remainder of the paint off, almost like a dry brush. I'm just adding in some color. I don't really have a plan. There's a lot going on here with this piece with the raised panels and all the definition around the legs. And I mean, we haven't got to the legs yet, but I hate painting legs. So I probably will not do that on camera. Um, Gavin wants to know where your palette knife is. My palette knife. It's right there on that wall, bud. Haven't seen you use it in a while, I don't think. You know what? I just did a, um, with a palette knife, the putty knife. I actually just did a tutorial in the group. We did that last week, and I used the putty knife for the almost the whole piece. So, um, but yeah, you're right. You haven't seen me use it, but we may just have to get that sucker out. Yeah, I know you're learning how to use it, Gavin. Terry Chavez, Hi, Terry. Ola from Arizona. I missed your smiling face. Love uh, these colors. Thank you so much, Terry. It's so nice. Jasmine Smith, she says, I'm so happy I caught you live because I almost missed it. Oh. Notifications didn't come up on my laptop, but luckily my phone reminded me. Okay. So happy to see what you do with this piece. Thank you so much. This is a new piece. Uh, Matt had to repair the legs. And my friend Michelle found it for me in Tulsa and brought it to me at my last class. Right now I'm just kind of highlighting it in a few areas with the blue, but I think we're on the right track, don't you think? How do you decide where to place the highlight? So if you think about um, one thing I started teaching about two and a half years ago was I like to think about the colors that are in a makeup palette. And I always say to let CoverGirl and Maybelline do all of the hard work when you're collecting co color combinations. So I used to carry makeup packets with me, um, compacts. And I would carry them through all of my classes and I would pass them around and I would look and say, okay, whatever paint line you use or whatever you love, look the way the colors complement each other. And a lot of eye or eyebrow, they will tell you which one to put on your brow. They will tell you which one to use in the contouring. They will tell you as a highlighter and on the eyelid. So I kind of think about it the way that the light comes down and it actually bump, bump, bump. The light, let's say we had an overhead, which we kind of do. Um, the light would kind of go bump, 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 and so I'm highlighting it with the brighter color as if there were an actual spotlight on it, as if it were a piece of art, or as if it, people were teaching you how to apply your makeup. And I know that you've never had a makeup lesson, so it might be confusing. I have never had one. Yeah. I'm going to be real honest with you. I've done a lot of things, but that's not on the list. That's not on the list. No. You've watched me put makeup on. A thousand times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Charlie Delaney. Hi, Charlie. Watching from Port Hedland, Australia. Hello. It's so hot here, but you are motiv motivating me to get out in the shed. Oh. Don't get too hot. Go, girl. So hot in Australia, as in what type of hot? Tell me, tell me exactly how hot that is right now. <laughs> I think they've got a control over the fires in Australia, right? Uh, pretty little wife, I took your advice and found myself a picker. Best way to go for finding great furniture pieces. Thanks for the suggestion. Oh, good job. What a wonderful thing to know you found a picker. Woohoo! Oh, by the way, Matt, you didn't pick up that piece last week. Which piece? They're, they're, they're holding a piece for you to go pick up. Okay, well, I will work it in, I promise. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Lewis and Seely Lavery. Lavery. Hi, Lewis. Uh, the blue is making it come to, come alive. Yeah, you know what? And I was planning on this just being kind of part of the base coat all together. So we'll have to we'll have to see how much of this we really want to cover up. I'm not sure about it. I need it to be something that's going to work into people's dining rooms, someone's dining rooms, because I do need it. You know, I mean, it's it's intended to go into someone's home and complement their decor. Uh, ooh, scrapping memorables. Is it okay to let the paint drip, or is it for certain style? I love how it looks, but would it look nice? Um, it does take a different look when you let the paint actually dry. I think that for a more formal piece, it's it needs to be more of a casual piece. And also it needs to be painted kind of in a fun, casual way. I think that for, uh, like this to me is a little bit more formal, so I wouldn't want the paint to drip on it. 
but I'm all about making the paint drip and that's kind of what the a lot of the um, my favorite pieces have all been are ones where I can see the paint dripping and almost just kind of just blending into each other I don't I don't mind it at all you just have to decide if that's your style a lot of people will say "Ooh, that's that looks bad but you know what you have to decide what you love and paint the way that you love okay Charlie said it's 42 degrees it's 42 degrees Celsius Celsius so that's like 198 I think. <laughs> I'm not good at math but I think it's a ride around that ball 198 oh goodness well try to stay cool my goodness I'm so happy to be starting a new piece though and um, finished up that drop cloth dresser which I called my beautiful mess and um, I'm excited to get this piece uh, Courtney hi Courtney she's she joined a little late could you just repeat the colors you started with please uh cherry that would be cherry pick i got this honey okay you I go, got this you go bro as the important design assistant i am i have to memorize the paint color she's using and it's cherry picked and pink coral nope cowgirl coral thank you cowgirl coral that's it and then i'm adding in what color matthew Come on, Woods. What? So I'm sorry? I'm adding in which color? You're adding in uh, lily water. Matthew. Water lily. Excuse me. Water lily. <laughs> lily water. Did you just say that? Der Der Derek Carlton wants me out. 42 degrees C. That's 108 Fahrenheit. 108. See, I was, I was just off my math. I was, you know, I'm reading questions and, and comments and math and yeah it's just there was a lot there. yeah thank goodness derek helped there. you out on that one yeah derek, derek came through uh-huh my goodness okay guys so yeah are we liking this are we thinking i think people are kind of enjoying it yeah we're liking it pretty colors and it's only three and it's, well, honey, we're just getting started. We got seven more colors to go. We got seven more to go, ladies and gentlemen. That's not even counting the legs. Come on. Woo. This is just the base coat, don't you know? I am, Susan Scroggs, I'm going to start making up my own colors. That Are would be, you? That would, would be fun. Okay, so what would you call this blue color? I would call it Lil, Lil Blue. Lil Blue. Like L-I-L, Lil Blue. That's terrible. That's a good name, Lil Blue. Lil Blue. Yeah, Lil Blue. Well, that doesn't that doesn't help us figure out what color it is. Though. It's blue. It's, it doesn't help us. Now. It's, it's the baby blue. It's not a baby blue, it's a Lil, periwinkle. It's Lil Blue. I it's like a, it. Oh my, okay. Well, what about the cowgirl coral? What would you call it? I would call it, I would call it, mm -hmm. um, I would call it pink coral. Wow, that's original. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's pink and corally. <laughs> it's pink and corally. Oh, that's what I call it, pink corally. Pink corally. Pink corally. You would make up the word corally. Yes, why not? Well, it's a good thing we let Debbie Beard set the names, huh? Yeah, I probably mean, is a good no thing. No offense, but surely you know that that's not quite as good as the actual name, right? Oh, uh, here's a good one. Purple Mirage. Purple Mirage. I like that. Carissa Sen... 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 Okay, hey, Matthew, will you hold... Show me... Hand me one of those original knobs. I want to show them what the original knobs look like so they can see how wonderful this piece is. There you go. Are you going to be able to work me in for my history art lesson? Yep. I'm ready to work you in for your history art lesson. Right. So these are the original ones. I'm going to leave them on, you guys. Look. I see a des desert sunset. Ooh, that's a great idea. So anyway, I love these. I'm not painting them. I just want to have, have them original back on. I heard about you from Debbie being at Cash's podcast. Awesome. That's so fabulous. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. Um, 
Carol Slater. Statler. Statler. Hi, That's Carol. Yes. Uh, does anyone does anyone here know if DIY paint will crackle if I use the crackle product? So I have never crackled, but I know that a lot of people in my Creative Connection have used it as a crackle. So yes, I have been told it will crackle. Awesome hardware, thank you, I think so too. I think right now I need to let these colors dry. So Matt, this is a good time for your lesson if you're up for it. Yes, I just won't, I've got to really focus and concentrate, so any comments or questions, if I miss them, I'm sorry, because I'm really going to have to focus. I'm going to have to pull this all from memory, so, I'm, this is all from memory, so if I miss some, miss some things, I apologize, but did you know Leonardo da Vinci was a procrastinator? He, no, I did not know that. Why would I need to know it? He was unquestionably one of the greatest artists in history. Ironically... One quirk that made him such a genius was that he was easily distracted. Oh. Huh. Wonder who else is easily distracted? All of us. <laughs> uh, All of us. So, guys, what color should we add in next? What do you recommend our fourth color be for Wednesday night? Give, give it to me. And while you're listening to Matt's history lesson that he promised. Two of his most famous works took a combined 17 years. That's too long. To finish. Okay. That's too Leonardo long. Leonardo worked on his influential mural, The Last Supper, for three years, and he later spent a whopping 14 years completing the famous and of surprisingly small Mona Lisa. It's said that Leonardo only finished The Last Supper after his patron finally threatened to cut off his phones. Oh, my. Huh. How's that? That's a little... Matt history for you. Little Matt history. Little Thank Matt you history. for that, Matt. Listen, you guys, I want to know. Oh, he was also dyslexic. You should add in golden ticket. There will no doubt, Donetta, no doubt be some golden ticket on here. You can you can bet it. Um, let's see. Blue Iris. Okay, that's it. That's a good one. Um, Liquid Sunshine says Chris Butler. Liquid Sunshine says Chris Butler. That's a great idea. Monet's Garden. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be at least three or four more, but I'm curious to know what you all think should be next. Um, Flor de El Deserto. That can be too. Flor de El Deserto? Yeah. Deserto. Deserto. Loving it. Can't wait for me, Candy. Yes, Sheila. I know. Boho Blue, says Kathleen. Uh, let me take a look. I'm thinking old school. No, I'm not adding in gray. It's not the right piece for gray. And when he says old school, he means charcoal. Um, you guys, I can see that you have uh, probably fire starter. Hmm. You missed the, we missed the far side downward trim. I'm sorry. You know what? I don't have the piece on legs. There are six legs and I don't have six available wheel dollies. Um, we'll work on that. I'll make sure that that happens. So I'm uh, hoping that That's we can. That's my fault. Mm, design fault. Um, we'll get it on the, the feet that we need so I can shift it a little bit easier for you while I'm painting. Tarnished Pearl, that would be a really good addition too. <laughs> Jenny says no gray. Old 57. Old 57 was actually one that I was considering. What did Antoinette add to the pinks and the blues? Um, gold. Lots of gold. We, uh, I'll have to go in there and look at Antoinette. She's about to, she's about to leave this month and go to her new home. I'm going to have to go in there and look at the one, the pillar on your right above the leg. This, right? You didn't get to see that? You didn't do the blue. I didn't do the blue. Yeah. You did the blue on this side, but not on the other no. pillar. No. Oh. Thank you guys for keeping me on my toes. Mid-chip. Crinoline. I think. Kissing booth. Not one person has said old school. I don't think no anyone is going to say old school, dear. What love. about what about mustard seed? Do you have, guys have a color called mustard seed? You should know whether we have a color called mustard seed. Silver would be gorgeous, says Kathleen. What about some silver leaf? Hmm, I don't know. 
You know, I like gold better than silver. Cake batter. Cake batter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Will Dolly assistance failure. That would be me. <laughs> well, he did fix the leg so we could work on it today. No green. No green in this project. Who says that? Um, that would be, ooh, I love that. That would be, ooh, I love that, Miss Patty. Okay, so I've got that column on. Is that better? Yes, we got it. Once complete, top it off with black wax. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Janet from another planet. Dion, how long does it take for you to know what exactly you are going to do to a piece and the colors you are going to use? Oh, that would just vary depending on the day, depending on how confident I'm feeling, just in general. That would just depend on um, how well I was able to concentrate. Lots of variables there that, you know, you know how you just have some days where you just feel more confident uh, and then other days where you just feel like you question more things. So that all plays into my art. That all plays into how I make decisions um, for sure. So that's a hard question for me to ask, but thank you. Angie says she loves Gray. She's on Insta. Thank you guys for hanging out on Insta. I know we never read your comments because he's on two devices and he's sure he can't keep up with three. Excuse uh, me? You said two's hard enough. It two is pretty tough, especially mm. tonight. They've been coming in like wildfire. Well, good. We've had lots of people I hanging out. I appreciate you. I literally am cross that now. On that note, um, you guys will be back on Wednesday, 8.30 Central Time. Do you do home color consultations with your clients? Wendy, I have never done that before. Uh, I have never, but I would love to, actually. I love talking about color. And um, thanks for your Sunday escape. You're so welcome, Carol. Thanks for being here. And um, we'll be back. Give us a few days. We've got some baseball in between. But we'll be back here, and this will sit Wednesday. right here. We'll be here Wednesday. Yep, 830 Central 830 time. 830 Central. Yes. Don't forget to press the buttons and the likes. The buttons and the likes and, and the, the hearts bells. and the Don't thumbs up. Don't forget ups. the bells and the thumbs ups. <laughs> and fix the hair, my word. Oh, oh, we're not. We went out of beast mode now, right? Now we're back yeah, to we're, Dion, Dion mode. We're back. To, yeah. Back to Dion mode now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful night. You guys have an awesome Monday, okay? I will. Thank you, babe. Oh, see ya. There it is. See you guys.